Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing our Fall of the Republic 1.3 preview playthrough as the Galactic Republic. In the last episode, we got to Dathomir, we got to uh, these planets down here with Dara, Naboo, Geonosis. Those are all targets for us as we send these ground forces up to Boz Pity. We have Admiral Dao sitting here by Rishi. I am, I think I'm going to fire Admiral Dao. He's had... Uh, he's had his chance in the sun. Uh, and we're going to replace him with someone to to invade Geonosis. Uh, Tina, you... Okay, so Hauser gets to continue on at least through... Uh, through Dara. Safety check complete. complete. We'll use him for that, but then after that, it's done. And... Those are going to be in place, but we can go into Dathomir right away right now. So Ozil, our, our best commander, he's totally competent and not at all an idiot, is going to be going over there. The fact that we are getting attacked is not okay. How dare you? But let's see. I, I did want to get Wolfie Lauren, I think. Let's see. Who else do we want? Do we want, uh, do we want Mario? I think we want uh, Yularen. For this first one. Researching. Let's get Yularen. Let's invade Dathomir, and then Yularen is going to lead the attack on Naboo. So, this is uh, the second recording today, technically, because I loaded three saves ago and continued from there. So there are 20 lost minutes on, on Twitch. So for anyone who, who wants to see those minutes, you can you can head over to Twitch, and you can you can watch the VOD. There you go, it's it's uh it's extra content. Director's cut of the Republic playthrough. No oh, crap. Let's get a little bit closer on that. And come up here. We really need that uh landing zone. They have a minimum firing distance, so I'm hoping... Alright, cool. I'm hoping we'd be able to, to get past that. Alright, there we go. We're good. We're good. I mean, it's, it's not that different from uh, from what I mentioned before of wanting to do, like... Uh, a pair of campaigns where I have the Republican CIS side going at once. Okay, you, you can just stand there. That turbo laser is going to be a problem until we actually start landing stuff on this uh, on this landing zone. But we should be able to get over to that victory point. Alright. Get in here. Get in there. Get in there. Ozzel, come in and show us the glory that is Kendall Ozzel. Prove to us you're the the hero we need. Okay, so we get that vision. And they are trying to get into the victory point themselves as well. So we are going to just go for the base. We're going for the conventional victory. Uh, what's that? Is that just going to be a turbo laser or is that going to be a base structure? No, that's got to be a base structure. We might, uh, we might bombing run the, the victory point. One, okay, no. There we go. That actually took more than I thought it would. Where is the the power gen though? That's that's the question. Well, it doesn't matter because they're they're trying to come in there, so we just need to protect with this. The Mandalorians be playable in Fall of the Republic? We don't have plans for the Mandalorians to be playable. 
Okay, the, the power gen's there. We definitely need to kill the the ion cannon. Let's get some other stuff over to there, because this is going to stop us from using the orbital bombardment. But this is going to stop us from using the bombing on the base. Because most of their units have kind of walked away from here. So, if we have the artillery hitting that way, I think there's still someone on, the, on that. Nope, I don't want you to, I want you to, there, yeah. I may as well send these over that way. We're playing to add Luminara or Clone Boss. With that kind of major character, usually it's just if we can make the assets for it, they're probably going to be in. And so it's more just a question of when or whether we'd be able to make the asset. Infantry being difficult and all. On. There you go. One more shot. Yay! Alright, now we are going to reveal the thing we could already see and shoot. That, that'll mean we have Daphneir, which almost splits in splits their northern territory in half. So I was asking, would you ever add Maul's Shadow Collective or add a mechanic to hire pirates or crime syndicates? Uh, the Shadow Collective wouldn't make sense as a playable faction. They're not, they don't control territory. They don't have any real military to speak of. Uh, like, a few Gozantes isn't going to be enough to, uh, to fight the CIS and Republic. What we're probably going to do for the Shadow Collective is have them be part of the huts because the huts will be playable the huts do have territory they do have stuff you can work with to build a roster beyond just small freighters and then the shadow collective can work as uh individual heroes for that because like maul did try to like bring in the huts and bring in some other stuff so we can work them in in a way that makes more sense that way rather than trying to make the shadow collective a playable faction If we've got Yularen building. Druckenwell, we have nothing here that we can defend against it with. I think we need to move this fleet in to Druckenwell to stop them from taking over the planet at least. Then we can move him in. Yularen can join his fleet after the fact. Because, like, to make the Shadow Collective a faction, all the elements that are relevant to Empire at War would be things that we'd have to invent. Uh, and it's not even just, like, the Hapens or the Empire of the Hand where we're uh, filling gaps in a roster. We'd basically have to invent the fact that they have a roster or territory as well. Because nothing indicates that they did. So, on top of, like... Uh, finding stuff for it it'd be a situation where like they they wouldn't have it normally so like anything anything that makes a faction a faction in empire war would no longer be representative of the shadow collective so it stops like it doesn't really fit many criteria for it is x1 canon i'm it's canon to legends There's a lot from those games that, like, directly contradicts other stuff, but that's always the case with with most of Star Wars. Let me put it in there. And I think we're just going to have to auto-resolve this. I think we're likely to, to hold that. And hopefully we'll get in before their ground units do. 
All right, Yolaren, you're here. You're coming down to Tatooine because you're going to launch the next attack from there. And let's send Coda in before they get any more structures built here. Hey, look. The same map, but on the opposite side of the galaxy. We do try to, like, spread stuff out a bit so that it's not uh, super repetitive. Because, like, making a unique map for each of the 600 planets in the mods is... that That's a pretty big undertaking. Uh, so we try to reuse stuff as little as possible or make variants of maps whenever we can. But it's still, like, 600 planets. So... Like you're never you're never gonna have a unique map for every planet, but we try to like spread them out as much as possible. Then, if you're attacking opposite sides of the galaxy at once, you'll still sometimes have back-to-back -back battles in the same place. Not much we can we can do there. We'll call it an accident. Right, you can. Yeah. What do you mean we'll call it an accident? What? Am I gonna die? You may as well get over here. I don't think there's anything that's actually going to shoot the lat down. He can grab the structure. Right, we definitely want the... That's right down. There we go. Coda can crush that. It looks like they're sending some stuff to capture that landing z or the victory point. So I'm gonna go and intercept whatever those are. We're gonna have to start hunting stuff later on. And we can send the juggernaut down the road too. All right, looks like it's just a squad of infantry. Boom. Is it just... It might just be Naboo that's actually the CIS down here? Everything else I think might be Techno Union? No, they do have Praesitlin. Is that what that is? Yeah, Praesitlin. So it's just Naboo and Praesitlin. Uh, I am going to build our station here. Because we're going to sell him off. Oh no, they, they're getting it. I mean, we have a bunch of infantry and we have a Jedi. So, it's not the most unreasonable to think we might be able to hold this. Even if Warm Loathsome himself comes in and tries to shoot us. Okay, that being so far back is not ideal. Guys, come in. Let's, uh, let's get some more jump troopers on this one. Let's get defensive. And we'll try to hold them at the top of the hill. We have the high ground. So let's get AV turrets. Because it seems like that's what we are going to need most. It is on the wrong side of the map. But we don't want them to be able to get around to other landing zones either. Hey, accidents happen. Alright. I don't think we need the other vision structures. Because they won't be able to have more than four pop at any time here. Oh, there goes our sensor. So maybe we do need the vision. Like, we have one structure's worth of garrisons, plus the Jedi, plus ten infantry companies. Like, and they have to come in four, five squads at a time. Plus, they have a lot of anti or anti vehicle rather than anti infantry. So this isn't the this isn't the best makeup they could hope for. Let's just try to make sure we're not uh, we're not too far from our turrets. 
If those can actually help, that's much better than if they can't. Helping is better than not. Alright, we got him we got him surrounded, we got the high ground, we got the flank ground, we got uh we got the middle ground, we got the, the low ground, we got every ground. We're so grounded that something about electricity. Go in your own jokes, I'm not here to entertain you. I am a little bit worried about the uh, the second Magna having access to our ATTE. Even the crab droid or the dwarf spider droids are pretty good against the the ATTE. They're anti vehicle, so that's what they do. Stop! What what are you doing? What is this for? Why? Why would you do that? Here right, comes the next round. So I think we're going to stop moving up on this. Stop there. Stop it. Alright, we'll see what the next round brings in. Like, can, can you just not... Okay, there we go. They are retreating. I mean, it would have been it would have been kind of nice to kill them all on this. I think they did. They did lose a, a good chunk of that. Or even the stuff that got away is not getting away. Well, I guess some of it is. Construction complete. All right, Yolaren, come in so you can. There we go. We had the we had the era change happen. Is Anakin supposed to turn into Vader after Order sixty six? He is. Uh, that may change some of what we need to do. Well, first let's get uh, Ayla and Delta out there. Enjoy that. All right, this is this is the real save. Let's get rid of uh well there's there's never going to be a save 23 in this. It it it's over. It, there's no save. 23 was scuffed. Um we should be able to take Boss Pity. And I think we got out to the point where a lot of these Independent force planets were semi-protected, but we'll need to go through and build on a few of them. So Yinkor, Tibrin, Roche, Malastare, Corellia, and Balamac. Corellia is going to be really useful because we can just go through the core more easily now. But let's check the let's check the charts as well, maybe. See how we're doing. So Confederacy is down to 18 planets. We're at 48. Indies are at 2, 5 for Techno, 14 for Commerce, 4 for blank, Banking Clan. Not Blanking Clan. Uh, Corson, I would like to have all these kind of start to build up. Beginning construction. So let's get to the second levels of those. We have a good chunk of money. In core, up to the next level on that. Barlock, you can have some money. Corellia on there. But let's also see what we have for the next patron units to build. You have Starfighter Gowoosh. Where's Garn Bell Iblis? Eric Obama. All. And there are a few more that were supposed to have been there, but I'll have to check later. Oh no, I didn't I didn't mean for you to, to end up in there. I'm I'm sorry, Kit. I wanted Lauren. Yep. 
You guys swap. Two lightsabers and a black heart to defeat a Jedi. Yes, sir. And we're sending the the main crew to Naboo. Obi Wan and Anakin are gonna Naboo the life away. I'm I'm just so confident we're gonna win. I'm saying that from there. And we are going to retire Dow or Lin Linchowser. Ooh, they have a they have a Lucre Hawk over Naboo. Who would have thought? You never see those in those places. Once we've taken, uh, once we've taken Praesitlin, probably, we'll start to move some Rune Focus. But, oh, I didn't read the name of this one. You go to Rune. One little victory. We have Ghost of Night's Revenge. We have a bunch of acts. Which are going to be very useful for this. And we have Yularen. We have regular Ikatens. We have Yamashiro. Yamakis Kurai. And Baholis and Live of Stock and Lick and Cop and Shinaki. I had flawless pronunciation, if you like. Yeah, if you want to get the sector forces, you usually have to play a bit around getting them, but it's not impossible. Not impossible. I used to both high T sixteen in my sector forces back home. You can even get Shadow Squad. Soul Pickler is asking when is the CIS playthrough? They are, they're not doing so hot in the poll right now, so they're not going to replace the Haven playthrough. But they have a very high chance of replacing the Republic playthrough when it's done. Uh, so, maybe whenever this playthrough ends. I am kind of hoping that, uh, it takes long enough that we get a few other things done in the meantime. Uh, let's uh let's make sure they can't launch the fighters. There, there, fighter bays. Like the Republic and uh, NCIS are not gonna get a ton of new units going into the future. Like they have a ton of stuff already. There are a few things for each of them, like wave crest, fantail. Maelstrom that are likely to happen in the future, but it's as factions, they're largely roster complete. Alright, if we can take out this Lucre Hulk before that other one, uh, or the other little guys get over here. I'm gonna try to send our bombers back to back to the shipyard because I think we mostly handled that part of the battle, and we just gotta get past the get past the anti-fighter that they have, which might be a little bit rough. Curious that you'd say wave crest before lupus. I mean, if anyone's watched enough House, they know it's never Lupus. You may always think it's Lupus, but it's, it's never Lupus. Is House an old reference now? Like, is that a thing that people are aware of anymore? Like, it's been off the air for, I think, 60 years. So it's definitely not a recent reference. By any means. Do the, the kids still know House? Are the kids still hip to House? Look, I, I don't. I could. I could see my age making me kind of old for a lot of people on the internet, but. 
I don't like house as a reference is enough to make you old yet. Like, I'm only 30. I'm not like Northern Lion, I'm not 32 or something. This is yeah, there's House MD, there's House of Mouse, there's... There's so many houses in popular culture. It's a reference to the fact that no one can afford one. Key Lori. I mean, I saw him do an interview recently. He looks very old now. So maybe, maybe it is. We're receiving an urgent transmission. The, the thing that's really crazy is even though I'm 30, I've been doing this mod for more than half of my life. Like, I started when, I'm four, when I was 14. So... We're coming up on the 16th anniversary of the mod. And we have had at least one dev who is younger than the mod. Yes. Bail out. I, I know this strategy Bail is out. very bold. So, if nothing else, you can't say I'm not dedicated to things. What you can say is that I don't know when to quit. That's... Uh, stubborn is, is a more accurate character flaw for me. What's your plan? I'm in. Ready for attack orders. Yes, General. We're being overwhelmed here. Enemies incoming. Wall move, General. I can't hold it. All right. Holy this is initiating combat protocol. Mostly all dead. Yeah, that like that diamond is running away. I think we're gonna have to try to chase it down with the the dreadnought. I don't think this uh this little two gun acclimator is gonna be able to do much. We shall be there shortly. Awaiting your order, sir. We gotta try to intercept them out that way. Standing by. Republic light cruiser. And you can power the power engines as well. Understood, we're moving out. All stations ready. We might be small. And then once we've done a uh, CIS playthrough, like, Hunt for Malevolent has a lot of its story elements in, so that might be another... I don't know if that'll be like a single stream left at Conquest, or if uh, if that'll be like just a regular playthrough, episodic one. Power to weapons. Yes, sir. I think the Architans should be able to catch these. Aren't those tri fighters are really dead. It's just the diamond. Where, where can they hide now? Nowhere. They're just done. All right, you, you're fired. I'm sorry, Dow. Uh, we can get the external racks for our dreadnoughts and stuff. So let's see. Let's uh, let's put this to a vote. We got Tarkin. We got Wessex. We got Grant now as well. We have Clarivoru. Um. Sirden, have Wessel. So I'm gonna put it between Tarkin, Grant, and Flirivoru. So that'll be up to up to all of you.
And after the after the next battle, we'll we'll switch. Who's our new sector commander? Arkin, Guru, or Grant? So we are also going the order sixty six route right? because we haven't really done that too often. Isaac. Oh no, I I made a mistake. All right, well let's uh let's invade Ahsoka by process of broken UI. You're going first. So far, Tarkin is off to a second place. He was off to a lead when I started the sentence. It's not my fault. Oh, I heard a new one. A Rodian, a Wookiee, and a Hut walk into a cantina. And? Continue. Great. The one time I actually asked Obi-Wan for help, he's nowhere to be found. Get ready to move it! Alright, so, so can, can you... So can you slice the turret, please? I hope Dooku got the extended warranty. He's invisible. Well, I'd rather kiss Gardula the hut than be here. Or Gardula. What did she ever do to any solution. of you? All right, Anakin, Obi-Wan. warning. I'm get about in the to you with a dazzling display of swordsmanship. Shield deployed. Come back for a little remedial training, have you? Right, you guys go over there. Here's a yeah, Sophie, you're in charge of uh, this landing zone. You start talking off a lot. You've got all the grace of a power droid. I'm your Need to make it make sure she doesn't die. We got droids over there. Okay, Obi Wan, this is your assignment. Anakin, you're over here. One only improves by facing a more skilled opponent. I'm not going oh, to make this easy there. for you. Alright, Tarkin is oh, one. I'm sure you'll be able to defeat me. Someday. Shield up. Alright, now... Anakin, you got it. No one's complaining about being impulsive now. All the Gungans back there are just distracting them. So we're gonna put our arcs in there with uh, with Fordo. We're gonna have an arc run down the down the path. Now, Ahsoka, you can go go kill that. Anakin, get in your transport. Then Anakin and Obi Wan are gonna go in the front door. An army of your kind might pose a challenge to the Jedi. If I'm Obi Wan, does that make you Obi too? Obi Have we met before? That that oh, line doesn't make sense with counting. And introduce him to my lightsaber. All right, sorry, Arcs, I, I've ignored you. You're going in the back of the base with the Soka. No, it's fine. If it's if it's leaving, don't don't worry about it. If it's leaving, let it go. Uh, Ahsoka. You you need to leave. Ahsoka, I think you should leave. Don't tell Master Skywalker about Alert. this, okay? You're losing ground on Sector 4. Repeat. Losing ground on Sector 4. Target sighted. General. One in the rubble. <laughs> Anyone else feeling reckless? Good. You're good. I don't like I think they're fine. You're losing ground on Sector 4. Destroying Repeat. Droids losing ground on Sector 4. Okay, Obi-Wan, you're going to have to kill that for us. Sector 4 needs Soka, you're small. back in here. These are all fine. All right, that was making me think bad things were happening, but it's fine. So it will be an inferior. That would be a pretty good guess. But we would need to update our model. So right now we have to do something. So that's partially just like making her slightly taller and putting Jock Beast head on her or something. 
I'm lowering you into a false sense of security. Yes, I don't know, General. Alright, Ahsoka, you can come over here. Portal that, you can come over here. Alright, how's that for... How's that for winning a battle? Is it... is it winning the battle? Right, Anakin, you, you're done your, your thing, but you can, you can still come and help. Now what's what's left? Let's call this a diplomatic solution. And there, I guess we're gonna have to scout out a bit with the lats. I may be small, but I'm strong with the force. I may be small, but I pack a punch. Instantly pack a punch. All right, we use the we use the patented sorting system to fix my earlier error. There we go. Now it's all fine. Okay. That. Era is still safe, and that means we're getting Tarkin at his native Eriadu. Researching. Makes sense. Construction. And as much as I'd like to have a considerate history, I think we're going to be inconsiderate and invade Boss Pity. Invasion commencing. And we'll check uh check what our missions are. They haven't really been paying attention to that or center influence just yet. We should be getting close though. I really wish I'd brought artillery on this one. But hopefully, no, we're not. We're not getting the that landing zone. We might be able to sneak around the top there and get that next one, the northeast one. But uh, it's gonna be tough. All right, I'm gonna get more floaty boys on this. No oh, hellfires, please. This is not a good place for us to fight Hailfire. We don't have vehicles for this. Right. I don't think we're going to be able to sneak around the way I was hoping. So we can grab some vision. We need to kill the Hailfire. That's gonna be kinda rough. Right. Move out. I don't think we're gonna be able to save the ATTE. Shoot the B2s? Oh shit. That's not good. None of this is good. Well, I'm gonna see if we can see anything back there. Like, the clone commandos are really all that's holding it down for us on this. If we can get the landing zone, then that helps, but oh, okay. Turbo lasers not great. AV turrets are not great. Okay, if you're distracted, that works better for me. Anti infantry turrets are not a great thing for our commandos to have to deal with. All right. Well, let's uh, let's get over here. We're not going to be able to use bombing runs on this either. 
Can you please get back to healing range? There you go. We'll have to bring stuff in back here, because... If we don't have much, we have something. It's going to be tough to get into the... Eh, into the range of the... Uh, uh, planetary shield to take it down with that turbo laser in there. We don't have... We don't have access to bomb runs and orbital bombardments if it comes down. But this should all be enough to take down the the planetary shield together. Or the, the turbo laser that's there, rather. Okay. We have to wait for these other clones to get up. I also don't want to lose access down this side of the map. So getting cut off would be bad. But we really do need that, uh, that power for the turbo lasers down. Well, we can hold on. Let's uh, let's see where stuff is. There's that. Uh, jet troopers, can you get back here? But if we can take out the power gen, that's even better. It's just if I had the lat still, that would be that would be doable. I don't think we're going to be able to get this. Yeah, with the... That, that's not happening. Yeah, we're going to have to try to brute force it through the front door here. We have to ignore basically everything else and just go for the turret. Or the turbo laser, not turret. It is a it is a turret. It's a big turret. It's still a turret. Alright, that could have been worse. And even even the middle we're actually managing to hold on to since we have them. Yay, we can bring in our ATRTs. try to heal and we're gonna try to get through this because if we can take the if we can take that turret out then we can have the the shield down and we can win I don't think power to shield is gonna do much for us wait yes there it is I might actually make that survive oh never mind all right Let's uh let's go in and kill that now. And then we can use the bombing run on the base along with the orbital bombardment. I think that actually works out pretty well in some ways. The the order of operations in the battle is basically what what it's intended to be there. Alright. Bombers on that. Then we're gonna bombard you, and now we can start making our way back in with the rest of it. No! Don't rotate into death. Okay, I... That was my favorite fighter. That individual one. And now there's just no point. There's just no point playing. Why bother? Okay, you can all stop crouching. Experimental ones, you can go into the... They're faster. Uh, do they have a field base? They don't. So we just gotta get to the barracks, then. I think that's the only real structure left. 
At least the only thing that's going to be printing out anything we have to fight. And it's mostly a clear shot through. Like, we could kill the turbo laser if we really wanted to, but who cares? We do need to destroy the shield gen. That is technically victory relevant. I'm going to send some of these north just in case there's other dragos up there, but they are leaving. This has all been pretty big, because if, uh, if we're established in the south the way that we are, and we have this entry point up in the northeast... Then that gives us really access to the to the main commerce guild areas, which is all they really have left. So we'll see if they integrate one of these other sub factions soon, because uh, I assume they're well on their way to doing one of them. We definitely want to build up a lot of this, because otherwise it'll be vulnerable to some attacks. We definitely want a lot of this infrastructure. Building started. But Building started. with all that on the way, we are going to have a final look at the charts for today. 16 plants for the CIS, 50 for us. Uh, so it is 21, 35, 39 total for them. And how do we look on the actual that graph? Militarily, we, we aren't blowing them away militarily, but we'll be able to start moving a lot of these forces to the north. So that is going to do it for today's episode. For those of you watching on Twitch, stick around. For those of you watching on YouTube, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.